Hello, hello, hello. Hello, we're back. We are trying this again. So hopefully uh, it's now popping up. Yeah, Alan is uh, live again. I'm just seeing there's a few notifications. <coughs> uh, we've got an unhappy face from Emily. Emily, hopefully, oh wait there, Emily Jane commented. Let me bring that up. Can't, can't see anything. Oh, that's the first one, Emily. Sorry, we're back. Apologies. What we're going to do, we're going to carry on. Yeah. Hopefully, everyone will now see this second video. Hopefully. Um, so, if, just yeah. to recap what was in the first video. Um, hi, whoever's popped on. It's Emily. Emily again. Can you see us now, Emily? If you can see us, give us a little thumbs up, smiley face. Yes, I'm in. Lovely. Cool. Fab. Emily. We've had a few problems with a few people in different groups having this. But I don't know if it's a Facebook issue or it's just tech. Well, you never know, you never know. Anyway, who cares? So firstly, what we did in the last video, we did this. Cheers. I gave Emily that as Alan a present. Alan gave me a potato. Which was to and, do um, with Belinda Clark last yeah. night. And I said that anyone that. else who gave me a potato... What's that, Alan? <sighs> oh, this one. Anyone else who would give me a potato, I'd think, what a weirdo. Then I look at Alan and the shirt and everything else, and I think, well, actually, it's kind of part and parcel of who he is, so... Yes. But it was a joke. We then talked about Belinda last night, yep. who we thought was fab. And if we were going to get married again or renew our vows, we would happily have Belinda. Never met her before. First time we've seen her. She was great. We thought she was fab. And if you were having her, uh, if you were, uh, wanted a celebrant, then we think she was fab. Yeah, so go and watch that. Nice That's on the group girl. and in YouTube. Which then brought us to... God, this is like in speed. Maybe do this every single one. Yes. What's to, um, we... That was the first time that we've ever um, handed over the outside bride to an external person um, so far, and we wondered what people thought of it, if people enjoyed it, um, if you would like to see more of that kind of stuff, um, let us know, because we have a wealth of suppliers who would be really happy to come out and chat to you. So if you've got topics that you want someone specific to come and talk to you, let us know, and we can reel someone in, can't we? Yeah, we can. Um, yeah, it might be if someone just wants a bit of marquee mm -hmm. input or... Or anything, doesn't it? I mean, if we, Emily and I generally have an opinion or some thoughts about most things, so um, we can we can talk about most of it. Yeah. Um, but every now and then, like a celebrant, to be honest, yeah, had thoughts, but really they needed to deliver that part, didn't they? So yeah. luckily they did. Um, but what else? You when are you going to talk about the blog post you've been? Oh writing yeah, on? I've been writing a blog this week to go on the website, which I promise you will be live at the end of this week. I promise, promise, promise. Life has. I know, I know. I think you made this promise about two weeks ago. I did. I think you owe everyone an apology. I offer the entire universe and everyone in this group a sincere apology. I got a little bit delayed with everything else I was doing with the business and everything else and work and babies and I didn't. And just saying it's very laggy um, and we're not convinced it's, it's actually our end. We think this may be a Facebook issue because this is not the first... Um, we're not the first people we know this has happened to in the past day or so. But apologies, it's um, mine's kind of streaming okay, so I don't I don't know. No, anyhow, yeah. has anybody got anything to ask us this evening? Oh yes, yeah. Emily Jane says feeding people twice in the day. Mm. Outside caterers feeding feeding people twice in the day because my outside caterers yep. feeding suppliers during the day. Right. So, from that little bit of snippet we've got, are you talking about when should you feed a, a, a group of people twice in the day and what to feed them? Is that what you mean by outside suppliers? Is that your guests? Yes, and your suppliers. Is that, is that right? So, you've got three separate questions in that. Now, the first one, we'll take it in three parts. The first one, feeding people twice in the day, is completely up to you depending on the type of food and what time of day you're serving. Yeah, well, feeding is a bit broad as well, isn't it? I mean, because if you were going to do the wedding breakfast, yep. that that doesn't mean in the evening you have to have another sit-down meal or uh, no. a hog roast. It could just be, pardon me, a cheese table. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for burping on camera. I've just been drinking. We, um, I would suggest, it depends on the day. So if you're getting a service at, what's that? Yeah. Yes. If you're getting married around half past 12, you've got to think about your time and start the day. Um, so if it's a half past 12 ceremony, um, you're going to get hungry guests and stuff. So if you do canapes or anything like that, that's usually an hour, hour and a half after your ceremony. Um, sit down for a 
I would say if you're having a half past 12 ceremony, would be around four-ish, I reckon, once you've done your welcome drinks, got to your said location, done canapes and that kind of stuff. So four o'clock for sit down, um, you may or may not want to do an evening buffet. Um, if you're a bit later than that, your timings go between four and four and six, you might just want to do bacon rolls, you might want to get a, a cheese ball on the go. It also depends whether you're going to have all day guests and some evening guests or all day guests throughout the entire thing. Um, it really completely depends on your timings for your day, really. Emily, what time of day are you getting married? You can type, or we can see us. I don't know. Well, we keep going until um, the answer so pops up. There is absolute shed loads of options without outdoor caterers, and again, it depends. And actually, can you also let us know in that um, message what kind of venue you're having for your ceremony or your? your I venue? mean, you're out. If you want to have hot food in the evening, I would fully expect your out your caterers, your main caterers, to accommodate that as well. Oh. If um, Thank you, Charlotte, and to you. Uh, she's wishing us happy Valentine's oh, Day. Thank you. Yeah, I'd fully expect your caterers to, to be able to cope with the evening if that's what you wanted as well. I mean, something like uh, bacon and sausage, sausage um, baps. baps. I knew it's the sausage rolls, but that's confusing. Yeah. Sausage in a bap. Um, you know, that's really not. They, they would probably cook that at the same time and then wrap it up and keep it warm. Yeah. Uh, not perfect, but you know, that's, that's the kind of world it is. But. Um, Generally speaking, I've never been to a wedding where people aren't hungry in the evening. And the other thing about food in the evening is your evening guests. That's what I was um, saying. If, if, oh, you have, if you have evening guests yeah. or not. Um, uh, it completely depends on you and your budget. I mean, if you're keeping one supplier in, I mean, we, I hate to always draw back to our wedding. With our wedding, we had our caterers in for the day and we had a uh, five or six staff in with mm. our caterers didn't we? and what they did for their evening to save us some cost we suggested or they suggested just keeping one or two people behind and the rest of their team going home after they've served the main course and the, and the main sit down meal and they left, just left one chef and one server in the evening mm. and we did bacon rolls and things like that and that way you can reduce your costs you don't even need as much space and stuff and they can put things in um, like hot chafer dishes and stuff and keep them warm Bam Marie's Bam Marie's not darling no no. What's a bain marie? Isn't that what you like? Put like water bath type thing, isn't it? To keep food hot in. Oh, I accept your um, public but apology. The, the third part of your question. Um, and just shared a top tip about this in a moment brilliant. as well. Um, the third part of your question with regards to your suppliers and food, you don't have to serve them the same food you're eating. It's always jolly nice to um to give them something, especially if it's like your photographer's there for the entire day, they're, they're from your setup to write from food to the And you generally dirt. have that relationship with the photographer yeah. that you will end up, you know. The majority so. of um, suppliers will stipulate in their terms and conditions whether they require feeding or not. And most photographers would, I think most photographers would put that in their terms and conditions that they need to have some sort of meal. But that doesn't need to be at a table. That doesn't need to be the same um, per head cost as what you're giving your guests. It can be just a sarnie and a couple of a packet of Christmas and fruit, and they can eat it in the back where the caterers are. If you've got like a catering marquee yeah. at the back, so again, look at your terms and conditions. Look at how many suppliers. Make sure you just water them. I think a lot of them just help uh, much help. I'm happier if they've got water throughout the day and liquids and stuff. If it's a hot sunny day, just be a bit courteous, yeah. really. They're, although they're working, it's just nice. Just and and just said we had about 150 guests total in the evening. We only catered for 50 as mm, the day guests mm. were still full and too busy partying to eat. Yeah. And the other thing is, like, don't forget, you've got your love cake floating yeah. about. There could be leftovers from the day, depending on what it is. Yeah. If it's, a, if it's uh, a hog roast during the day, for argument's sake, there still might be crackling and pork mm. and bread rolls, whatever. You know, if it's, if, if it's that sort of meal or desserts yeah. floating around or whatnot. Yeah, I totally wouldn't have catered for the entire 150. Yeah, um, you might want to do a sweetie cart uh, in the evening and then once again, that's, uh, that's that fixed cost rather than a per, trying to work out how many heads. Um, and, and sweetie cart, you know, with Costco and all these other shops yeah. in place nowadays, a DIY sweetie cart is so simple, um, and it's a proper um, mums like to do it if they get. <laughs> they do, don't they? Like mothers of the bride, mothers of the groom, or you know, that's the sort of thing they will love or aren't mm -hmm. able type thing. So um, I, I just think, yeah, don't get pigeonholed into having two lots of food for everyone. Yeah. Because actually, there's so much that can be done. And once everyone's had a few drinks, they really. Do. And that's what Andrew said. Once everyone's had a few drinks, and you know, that's very, very true. Yes. yes.
Anything else from anyone? Any other questions? Good Otherwise, question, we've... Emily. Yes, thanks, Emily. Do, do, do. Oh, there was a delay again. No. So we can go back to something Emily was promising. What were you promising that was going to be live by the end of the week? The website will be live ending this week. Yeah, I, in her defence, she's been uploading blogs and, and making them look pretty and putting some adverts for suppliers on there. And you have been working quite hard on it. We just had a couple of technical some issues. Some things were out of my control. We yes. have a web designer who lives in America. So things that I was asking were taking a little bit of time to get down through the system. That's right in front of my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that, that the website will be live, I promise, and then we can all share the outside bride love to near and far, and the Instagram is now live, and we've been posting on that, which is kind of cool, and the Pinterest board will be live, I promise. Yes. Um, I, I think I'd like to share some tidbits. I want to talk about photographers for a moment. Mm -hmm. I think we've mentioned photographers uh, before, um, but I just... Um, Dave's got a question for me, Dave. Yes, let's hear it. I know Dave, so it's going to be funny. Um, whilst Dave's typing his question, um, oh, Dave Bailey. Bailey. So, photographers, in our opinion, never scrimp on a photographer. Um, if you've got a mate who's very, very good, then fantastic, mm. take them on board, brilliant. Um, but out of everything in um, your wedding, uh, Thanks, Dave. No, we won't be introducing Yama to the outside bride family. Um, but everything in your wedding, the photographer is the pictures that you're going to look back in the in the, you know in the future when you look yeah. back. So whatever you do, don't scrimp on photographer. Really look at many different styles of photographer. Go onto the websites, yeah. look at their pictures, um, seek recommendations. Um, you know, go and visit wedding fairs because they'll have their style out for display. And, and really start there. And I think with, uh, because the prices can be so varied, and when we discussed this with the Jenny Owen video on the yes, baby meets a few weeks ago, um, if you're looking at the cost and you're really, it is a budget kind of cost saving exercise, still be driven on the style of the photographer yes. over everything else because things like photo, and Jenny's going to kill me for watching it a bit more, I say, photo books and all that kind of stuff, although they're pretty and they're expensive, they're things that can be cut. The actual photographer style and how they capture your day and the reportage style and all of that. Can we that, say they're a nicety rather than they can be cut? Keep talking, no, they, they can be added at a later date, can't yes, they? Very true. they, they the, once the, photo the, the photos are taken, that's with you forever. You can have your USB stick and you can upload them later on. You can get those books created at any date after the wedding. The important thing, I think, is making sure you get the right photographer for the right couple to get the right style and to capture your day in the right light. So. Yes. Don't be driven by the overall package costs. Really do look at those photographers and what they can offer you in terms of their style and then look at the price afterwards, cool. in my opinion. Yes, and one last one, because mm -hmm. I don't want this to take on too long, is um, I was in another wedding forum and someone was seeking um, thoughts on should they bother with a videographer. Right. Um, uh, what's your thoughts? Oh, if there's anyone here... That, oh. I, I think they're brilliant and I think again yeah. um, no it was no one on here it was in a completely separate forum things have changed time. a lot in, in technology and even throughout the last couple of years since we've got married to, to now the technology's changed so much I think they are just as lovely to capture your special day as a photographer is and actually some photographers offer a bolt on packages and they yeah. do a bit of both um, if you don't want to go down the video videographer route you can always get just ask people to, throughout the day to have cameras and stuff and to film it and do like snapshots so you can put it all together. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. I think weddings are that special. The opportunity of a video is amazing. Yeah. I agree with the advance in technology. When you think about HD and 4K and all of it, you know, your, everyone's iPhone's got a high def on it. The quality of your video now to, well, yeah. hold on, look at the quality from our wedding five years ago. The quality is mm. phenomenal. Um, however, like Emily said, but photographers can do little bolt-ons. I actually think a five-minute montage 
is probably fine yeah. rather than watching 25 minutes of Uncle Peter dancing I'm actually a bit hammered. funny about video. It's all very well looking back on videos and photos and stuff, but actually sometimes it, what's in your head is much more important. That's why I think a montage might work. Yeah. But, but, but it's opinion, guys. It's absolutely opinion. I think me the memories you create in your head rather than having to replay, like you said, every speech and every yeah. moment of that, definitely. Um, Dave Bailey here has killed the conversation for everyone with his in-joke about Yammer. Okay. David, let's be taking this up with you uh, offline. Right. So anyway, the last thing I've been doing this week, because you haven't had as many questions, is I have been writing a blog, which will be on the website that goes live at the end of the week, on 10 top tips to create an eco-friendly wedding. I think it's quite interesting on this time. Everyone's very um, plastic savvy and, you know, not using things that don't... Um, by degrade, so I have put together a top 10 tips to make your wedding without being too green and too kind of like, you know, yeah, dreadlocks and whatever. You know, it's very much, I know, I've been really, that was really blanket, I'm really sorry. That was horrific. I've had two glasses of champagne and that's me done. Okay, well, I'm on Prosecco, so where are you getting your <laughs> champagne from? Um, but it's the top tips in terms of um, plastic over, a gl glass over plastic and sourcing your materials and stuff for your day for your decorations in very clever ways so that should be an interesting read uh emily jane okay also wondering about water supply our Ooh. bar has asked we have toilets and generators yeah. but have we missed something are you so em emily you didn't i don't know if you did say or not or you missed it whereabouts is your is your reception what are you having for your reception are you in a field well it doesn't matter well it does no it does it would it, yeah first up we'd see if there was a water supply in the field yeah. so if it's a field a campsite a back garden uh, a green space next to a building yeah then i would look at running a hose out tp um, I'd look at running a hose from the nearest tap and that can be a simple bit of garden hose yeah. with with a like garden squirt if that's, if, that's if that's a private supplier as in a land owner they should be able to help source that for yes. you if you haven't got any access to any standing um, a standing pipe in the field or any gardens at all um you're gonna to have to bring it in and that's when it gets a bit complicated but it's not well not it depends different. how much you need doesn't it really because yeah. in tesco's you can buy those five liter plastic bottles uh yeah. no campsite it's a great hall in east sussex manor house nearby right so they with the manor house there should touch with there should be a, a water pipe somewhere on those grounds. I mean, yeah. if there's gardens and stuff, there will be a gardener who would be able to point them in the right direction and you can get hosing and stuff put towards your teepee. And that, you, I imagine you won't be the first teepee to be on that site to, to do it. So definitely ask the venue to get that put in for you. Like Alan said, if you haven't got access to water um, and you have to go in with plastic bottles, and I know plastic's a bit funny, um, get the really, really, really large. Yeah, they five do five liters, liters in Tesco. And, and, and yeah. we, can, we can put in some information. We, we have worked that out on how much you would need to bring in. But again, it's really, your catering stuff can go back dirty. If you're bringing caterers in and you're using China, that can go back dirty to the caterers. And most, if you're hiring... What sort of bar are you having that they want water? Just putting it out no, there. No, our bar asked for water. Oh, okay, they fair did. enough. And they don't want champagne stuff. on a tap then. No. <laughs> um, but yes, things for drinking water for the tables, you can do that in pitchers and not in water, um, not in bottles and stuff, and that's always a bit better and greener for the yeah, world definitely. as well. Um, and regards to the bar, the bar might need access to water, but they they're going to want to wash. They will want to one. rinse things and glasses, unless you're reusing yeah. glasses or using um, labels on your glasses to say that they, you need to reuse them. They might to, might want to rinse some bits and bobs, yeah. but you won't need lots and lots of water for any kind of evening bar. No, yeah, I think it is one of those things that you don't actually use as much water as you think you're going to use. Um, but it's good to have it. It's definitely, absolutely good to have it, you know. Yeah, just double it's check, good. it's drinking water and it's, it's perfectly fine to drink. Most they they should know, the venue should know. So definitely, she says thank you, she will okay. ask them. That's fine. Right, let's wrap up. Because it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Should we Day. go in snuggling the sofa? Yeah, we, even, no. we haven't snuggled in years. <laughs> how, did you, how did you make bins look good around the venue? Um, we're going to keep this one short. It's, it's, a, it's a setup question. When you set up your teepees, you should have a what we, I would call a view area, which will be the front, 
and a working area which is the back yeah. you would hopefully angle your TP towards the entrance and everything else nice so that the working area was hidden yeah. and the view was nice and pretty so anything like toilets generators bins mm -hmm. should be out the back so when your guests are walking in the front yeah. door and looking out they don't see it however when they need to go to the loo or whatever they would go out the side door past the bar something like that and go to them yeah. that hopefully that helps if otherwise um, brush matting from a garden centre, right. wrap round a bin, something like that. But generally speaking, yeah, you'd have a working side of the marquee, which would be, or tent, which would be all plain, so you, people can't see for it, and the nice side, which would have windows and yeah. doors, etc., etc. But make sure you put recycling and glassware separately. Yes. So I'm being big on that now. Yes, we are. Cool, come on, let's wrap up for tonight. Emily, thank you ever so much for your questions. and. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, well, I enjoyed it when it was me and the three Emilys. Um, no, our pleasure, Emily. But um, thanks to everyone else for coming online tonight. Hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day. Uh, looks, we're well, judging by how many names have popped up. We're not the only ones who aren't snuggling on the sofa. Um, so thank you very much, and we look forward to speaking to you same time next week. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Same to you. Oh, <laughs> that time. Bye. <laughs>